Yeah, there we have them. Solar panels in the Norwegian winter. So, got to go off there and remove some snow. They are, uh, I did check them before I went outside. They do detect the light, but nothing more than detect it. They produce nothing. So, whenever it has snowed a lot here, I need to manually remove the snow because uh, it's not, yeah, there is no direct sun hitting her and they have no chance of heating up or removing the snow themselves. I've read online that they do heat up from the, from the production and that they can like self clean from snow. Not here. <laughs> Not here. No, no, no. I have to do it myself and it's a lot of work. That's one thing. Another thing is the ice layer on them. I can't really get that one removed. So regardless if I do remove the snow here, I still have this ice mixed with snow layer. That means that the production is not great, but it is some. Unless when I'm lucky, the ice is gone too. I'm not sure what causes the ice to be gone. Like why sometimes when I remove the snow, the like now it seems like at least this one is clear of ice and it was icy yesterday before it started to snow so that's so interesting but yeah I have to go up here every time remove the snow and uh, it is a bit tedious, especially since I can, I can, maybe I can get up to, I think at the maximum during a day, if it's not overcast, it's about 200 watts from this. And they are three kilowatts. So not so much sun here, or it's no sun here, it's only daylight. Because we're in the shade. So, um, yeah, so during a full day, I've seen uh, up to, up to 500 watt hours produced because we don't have daylight too long either. So, yeah, that's not much, but it is more than what I currently use to maintain the system, keep the batteries topped and uh, also running like all the diagnostics and the weather station and stuff like this. So it's, at least it's self, I don't know, self-sufficient? No. Um, anyways, I can see here now the bottom of this one. It's the ice. It was only the top part that was free of ice. So, still not sure how the state of the other ones will be. But hopefully, this will make them produce a little bit of electricity. It is interesting though to see, like, did this make any change at all? I do have my app on the phone that I will present later mm, and this one will tell me if they detect any voltage at all and they do t detect voltage still from only one panel don't know if it's it's a little bit different but uh, it's not enough to even match the voltage of the batteries so 
nowhere in there charging from one panel. They're also in series, so at least one series should be free for this to work. I will do, yeah, I'll do this one series and then see what is the end result of that one. And then, then I'll do a recap once I've done all of them. But there is a, there is a limit to how long I can chatter and how long you guys probably want to listen to. So let's do just It's a lot of snow. So there we've got two out of three panels freed in this is the golden array in this series of three panels there and let's see what the app says now yeah, it didn't make much of a dent It's still, still less than the battery power. So, I'll do one more. Remember, for anyone in the States, this is probably the worse condition than any of you guys can or can will be in for like the amount of sun during a day uh, so if you have a sunny spot to put them will probably be way better off in these times than what we are here and southern Canada too is, I guess, southern Canada is like sunwise, isn't it like nor northern Italy? I think so. So it's fairly fairly dark up here. There, let's check them now. Now it is one complete seri, and yeah, we're at the battery voltage, so it's not not producing anything still. But I will continue with the rest of them, and. Uh, yeah, and get the final report.
Yeah, so now half of it is done. There's still one more row and the controller, at least now it says that it detected enough sunlight to be on an on state, but it's still not producing any watts of power towards the system. So let's get started on the next row. Okay, so three of them now done, and just check the temperature, it's minus 0.7 Celsius. So that means that these ones still won't melt, which is sad. I was hoping for it to go above freezing, so that maybe they would clear off a bit. And you can see these ones, I, I struggled to get in the bottom part, so still no, not enough power to do any charging. I'll do the last thing. Of course. Almost not deep snow at all. Okay, so that's pretty much the best state I can get them in for now. I don't know how much they produce now. <laughs> 5 watts of power out of 3000 when they're all as clear as I can get them. So let's hope they clear themselves a little bit more. <laughs> 